afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies. Hi. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon to all the people watching on the replay or watching on the live stream today. Uh, it's Friday afternoon, and we're we have a special discussion this afternoon. We're talking to Executive Chef Bettina and FNB Director Aunt Sophie of Spirals from Sofitel Manila, and we'll be discussing about what's the you know the spirals in the new normal uh what are the things happening and if you have any questions or you want to join our discussions feel jump in into the live stream put your questions on the comment section we're streaming live in uh, youtube and facebook and this will be exciting discussion and i can't wait to go back to try out spiral please all right <laughs> thank you Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Uh, I guess uh, a lot of um, people, I'm still familiar with the old people in Spiral. So you guys, it's a power, uh, we have a powerhouse lady team in Spiral now. Maybe you can introduce yourself, Chef Bettina. How how did you get into Spiral? And then uh, followed by uh, AS, no? AS sure. and Sophie okay. on uh, your backstory to introduce you to our audience. All right, okay. My name is uh, Bettina Arquiel. Yes, yes. I just joined uh, Sofitel back in June, so about three months uh, ago. I arrived from Singapore. Actually, uh, I was here in 2013 to 2015, so Spiral is not really a stranger to me. So because back then, I, I kind of knew what was uh, already uh, going on in Spiral. Uh, it was easy for me to at least adapt again to the new situation. Uh, now that I've come. So uh, my background has been mostly in Singapore uh, and it's a pleasure to come home here again to Manila. Again, of course, uh, the privilege to reopen Spiral uh, coming out of the pandemic is such an honor for me. So I'm happy to be here. Just new and fresh. All right, that's that's it for me. And then we Chef, have to answer uh, Chef, um, you're, what did you do in Singapore? Also in uh, Sofitel property or a different property? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, uh, just going back from when I was here, 2015, I moved to Sofitel in Singapore, Sentosa. Uh, I stayed there for two years. My last property in Singapore is uh, Robertson Key Intercontinental. So I opened that hotel as well. Uh, I stayed there for nearly three years and then came back to join Spiral. Wow, galing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, for me, I've been here now one year and a half. So I arrived in April last year. So I was here before the lockdown, through the lockdown, because I live here. So I was locked here within the seven months until Spiral reopened, until Bettina arrived. Um, and before that, I've been working for Accor now for nine years. So all my career, basically. Uh, Asia Pack only. So I've been working in Thailand, Laos, uh, Vietnam for many years, and China. So uh, only Accor properties, but then pre-opening, rebranding, opening. Uh, a lot of different properties, a lot of different concepts and challenge. And uh, Manila was my, my newest property that I've just joined one year and a half ago. First time I come to Philippines, actually never even been on holiday before. So was definitely a place I wanted to visit for a very long time. No, I didn't she's know. my tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> actually, luckily I had the chance to, uh, to travel a lot in Philippines be before the lockdown. Uh, I've been to six or seven islands already, so like I, I really wow. love uh, I really love Philippines. It was really on my list for a long time, so I was really pleased when uh, I was asked to transfer here uh, one year and a half ago as FNB director. All right, congrats. Uh, now um, let's go right in into Spiral. We have some photos of uh, what's happening, and maybe you can describe it uh, for our audience on what are the new things in Spiral. So we'll. Just show the photos. We'll um, wait. Uh, so maybe I'll, I'll just walk through the photos, and can you just describe to us what's uh, sure. what are the different things? Uh, so basically, what you can see on that picture, it's uh, the plexiglass which has been installed all over the restaurant. So you see Bettina on the picture, actually, <laughs> uh, <laughs> handing a, a plate to a guest. So I guess that's one of the main. Uh, change compared to before which is in the past people used to serve themselves from the buffet right 
yeah. because of the new uh, standard and the new guideline, uh, this is not allowed anymore. So basically, the buffet is covered all around by plexiglass. And now mm -hmm. you can see the food behind the plexi. And then you can point at the chef. And then the chef is the one who will prepare your plate and hand it over to you. So there is no contact between the guest and the waiter, actually. So the waiter are not allowed to pick up the plate for the guest anymore. Uh, the purpose of this is to avoid, you know, extra contact and uh, cross contamination. So it goes directly from the plate being sanitized uh, in the kitchen. Uh, it stays in the kitchen behind the plexi, and then the chef hand over the plate to the guest directly, uh, who bring his plate to the table. So basically, you can only carry two plates at the time, um, uh, and okay. then you have to come back. Now, a uh, quick question: uh, Do you still call it buffet? We call it interactive, interactive kitchen. kitchen. I think uh, when when uh, we were reconceptualizing uh, reopening spiral, I think that was the key mm. uh, point: was to maintain the DNA or the identity of spiral without really sacrificing so much. So as you know, uh, spiral we have twenty one ateliers, which by the definition is like a, a artisan's or a craftsman's workshop. So it mm -hmm. it's more like just not uh, reformatting how the setup is instead of having the all the food on display it's the chefs or your craftsmen really assembling and finishing the plates for you so it's more interactive in that sense uh whereby you you still have the guests still have the control like to choose to control the portions a little bit uh of that and be able to interact with the chef so that we can describe the dishes so you know they don't just like read off of a menu and get something and get surprised they actually see what's uh being prepared for them uh -oh. Okay, let's go back to the photos. Um, so, so people can only bring two plates at a time, correct? Correct. Yeah. And I think then, if you're professional, they can carry yeah. more. If you work I in mean, the industry and, and you, you work in F and B, you can carry three plates <laughs> at a time. You can carry more. Carry more. When What's we the eat record? At the buffet, we carry three plates at the time. Uh, okay. And uh, what is this we're seeing? Uh, this one, so it's on each table uh, in, uh, in order to avoid really like contact and all the paper menu, we know like, you know, uh, this helps as well to provide, you know, the virus of spreading. So this is a, a QR code uh, for the drink list. So basically you have one in each table. So when you arrive, you can just scan it on your phone. Uh, and that the one on the picture is for the health declaration form. So oh, this okay. one is done at the reception, when at, at the lobby when you arrive. And we have another one on the table that you scan for your drink list. This one. That's the one, exactly. So when you scan that one on your phone, then you get the drink list and all the drink available. So it avoids really to have like the, um, the paper menu. Okay, but uh, is it an ordering uh, application no. or just a menu? Just the menu. No, no, it's just a menu. Yeah, it's just a visual. Okay, that's good. Um, now, I think this is something new, no? The central yeah. market. Can you I will let talk Bettina about that's a creation, so she uh -oh. can say things. So what is the central market? Yeah, okay. So the central market uh, is located now where the seafood uh, section used to be. So actually, because of the new guidelines, right? So anticipating what new normal would look like, uh, we really had to think of a way whereby uh, we're able to serve the guests, still give them that variety, uh, still have them spoiled for choice without really setting up so much and go to waste. So the central market is actually like, uh, you have a menu there with all your proteins, uh, vegetables, meat and seafood, and you can choose to have them prepared in a variety of ways. So like, as you can see, uh, for example, there's uh, from the French stove, you can order mm -hmm. frito misto with chess Italian or al forno style. Uh, we still retain the popular items like Rockefeller, cheese gratin, all these things. But again, you also have other cuisines uh, highlighted. So you can have it done at the walk. You can have it hot pot, uh, grill, in the tepanyaki section. So it's just like providing the guests with a more structured and curated uh, selection of what items that they, they can choose. But I mean, with all the ingredients combined, I think that the, the choices are infinite almost. So they still have that variety. While not everything is displayed on the buffet, they still have uh, a lot of choices actually through that central market. So how how do you do it? It's an eat all you can, but or or yeah. you can order as many as you can, or yeah. you control it. Is there a control like three orders at a time? 
actually the, this central market replaced the previous seafood area mm. so where uh-huh. we used to have the seafood bar uh, uh-huh. and in the past you will come you pick your seafood and then basically you will go to the french stove and ask to have it with garlic and butter yes, now correct. now in that section you can already pick your seafood or your fish or your meat and then based on that board that you just show you can select the type of cooking in the type of sauce that you want your dish to be cooked with so you can have as much as you want you can come back as many times as you want actually the board is more to give you a, a guideline yeah because we have a lot of guests that they will come at the seafood bar right uh, they mm-hmm. will say oh, can i have a lobster but they don't really know how to yeah, have it cooked they, which they sauce. Always, they always ask anyway like uh, how do you recommend this course? Yeah. how can i have it done exactly and all that so this is like a at least give them more variety and the options or the possibilities at least items can actually be prepared for them so this is more of a guideline to try to help the guest and we give them you know recommendation on if you want to have your seafood that's the type of sauce we can provide if you want to have you know your meat that's the type of sauce you can provide so that is it's more of a guideline but then central market or any other atelier in Fayol, you can even though we call it interactive kitchen now and not buffet anymore the concept is the same. You can mm-hmm. eat as much as you want. You can come back as much as you want. Uh, as long as you are in the restaurant, then it can last two hours. It doesn't matter. You don't. Ha- you take two plates at the time, but you can take as many plates as you want in one service. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to the most popular iconic place, of course, in Spiral. And what will happen with the cheese room, of course. <laughs> the cheese room. People are asking, what's happening now? What's the new protocol? Of course, of course, the cheese room is still the cheese room, and that that cheese room can never be touched. All right, uh, it can only get better. So, of course, uh, selection uh, has been the same, or even increased. Actually, we're still working on uh, think, expanding yeah. the repertoire for cheeses and cold cuts in the cheese room. No? So you can still have, uh, and visually, it's all set up as before. The only limitation now is you cannot cross over the threshold. You have to stay by the door. Uh, and the reason being because we can't cover everything. So uh, at least, you know, for them to really see the cheeses also. And it's still in the same way uh, prepared for them. However, yeah, just to uh, eliminate any possible cross-contamination uh, within the cheese room because it's an enclosed room. So they can only stay by the threshold. However, uh, be- beside the display chiller, we have prearranged uh, cheese and cold cuts platters of the day which they can already mm-hmm. avail of. Of course, the chef can curate your plate for you as you wish. So with the uh, um, over 50 varieties of cheeses and cold cuts that you will see there, you can still have yours made specially for you. Okay. So you cannot enter the room anymore, but you can yeah. see it, correct? Yeah. Yes, yes. So ah. you can like have the door open, take your photos, and uh, you know, uh, see the cheeses. Anyway, the chef is always by the door, uh, ready to explain to you as before what selections are there, uh, talk to you about the cheese and the cold cut. So I think wow. the still pretty much the same. You just cannot physically enter the room anymore. That's good. Uh, so in a sense, you're much pampered. No? So you can have yeah. your... Can you or, uh, order a grazing table in a sense? Uh, yeah, I suppose because like uh, like... As we said, you, you still give have the the flexibility. So if they say, can you make a platter for four people or six people? Definitely, we will do it for you. Wow, nice. Now, um, okay, that's good. That's good news. Um, of course, you have wok high, the wok high, You have options also for the Chinese yeah. wok. No? Yes, yes, it's a nice feature, and it, it, it's uh, becoming very popular now because they class like, like as, yeah. as we said. Last time, it was always garlic butter, garlic butter, and all that. But now, uh, because we've added like more options for them to uh, uh, walk, you know, it's it starting to gain popularity because we have Sichuan, yeah, oyster the crab, sauce, right? and all that. The crab is just going the, crazy. Every day, there is like a lined up of like 20 crab all the time at the, at the Chinese wow. section. <laughs> yeah. And then as you see in the photo, right, with all that uh, action going on in the... Well, oh. everyone's really attracted to that station. Okay, wow. So that's good. Um, all right. Um, so we'll go to the Japanese. But uh, Julian, uh, somebody saying hi to us, Sophie. Hi. That's my brother. Nice. All the way from see, the, la- the last name is the same. So it's like yeah, I heard. <laughs> all right. 
friends. Nice. So, uh, how about the Japanese? Is there, aside from you have uh, the acrylic, uh, anything new in the Japanese section? Uh, actually, for all ateliers, not just for Japanese, the, the way we've uh, structured it is each atelier will have signature dishes. So these signature dishes are basically like the iconic dishes of that cuisine that we want to highlight uh, on a rotational basis. Apart from that, so that's about three to five dishes uh, depending on lunch, dinner, First or brunch. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh, after that, each atelier also will have a live station uh, that you can choose from, right? So there's there's a lot of things going on but in per station. So with the Japanese, for example, uh, whereas before there's like uh, hot dishes like your sukiyaki and then your tepan and all that. Now they actually have plates that you would never have had up here before. Yeah. So for example, you have a unagi don or a champonabe. Uh, we also have, we forgot to mention the central market, we have a secret menu. <laughs> which is all the bus at the moment uh, because I think we wanted to add uh, because Anne-Sophie being so young, she's so infectious, right? We wanted it to be uh, a little bit more interesting and engaging for the guests. So we added a uh, secret menu just to add a little bit more of fun uh, and uh, happiness in, in what we're doing. So to add an element of mystery, also give the chefs a little bit of our room to express, express their, their creativity. creativity. So, so it changes. Uh, the secret menu changes. Yes, okay. it changes. So, one, so one, thing I think to, one thing to highlight, I will say, you know, like, if you compare Spiral before and Spiral now, right, the yeah. atelier remains the same uh, in terms of variety. We have the central yeah. market, which is definitely a big addition because we used to have just a seafood display. Now you get the possibility of basically creating 20, 30, 40 different mm -hmm. dishes among the central market. But I think the main point is really that we used to be in Spiral doing very big volume, right? We used to have some yeah. time for lunch, 400, 500 guests, right? Uh, breakfast, 1,000, 1,200. So we were like really a, a big machine. Because mm -hmm. of the pandemic and uh, the guideline at the moment, we are only allowed to use 30% capacity of the restaurant, which is uh, around 130 packs for us. Uh, meaning that I think we focus now much more on quality than quantity. So as Bettina mentioned, there is dishes that you have on the on the menu now, which you would have never had before because of the volume we were doing. It was really difficult to really try to go for a specific item. It doesn't matter which cuisine, actually, like any atelier. Uh, everything had to be made really in big quantity because of the, the volume we were, you know, making every day. Now, in a way, because we have no choice than to be reduced to such a small volume, it really gives us the chance to be, you know, like, making every single dish just for you, preparing it for you, everything is fresh. It doesn't sit there for, you know, some time. And then the quality of the dish as well, is, is, I think is much higher than it was before. At least for me who have been here before, I, I can definitely see the, Thank you. the difference. <laughs> Thank you. Everything is, you know, everything, the, 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 the portion are smaller, but the quality is better. And I think that, so, that makes uh, for me a big difference. So just a question, uh, what are the example of the secret uh, dishes or ingredients that you're we now... We cannot tell you because we have a competition right now. Now actually, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, yeah. we just launched a competition today, which is this weekend and next weekend. And every guest who is coming in the restaurant, basically we gave them a small card, uh, which is the Spiral Secret Menu Contest. So they will need to go to the, secret, to the central market, ask the chef to order a dish from the secret menu, and the contest is that each guest needs to try to guess what's the dish, the ingredient, take a picture, post it on Instagram. And basically, Bettina and I uh, will pick what's the closest to the reality. And those winners are going to win a Sunday brunch for two. So for right now, we cannot tell you what's the secret menu. <laughs> but then if we do but, another interview, we will be able to share. But actually, the secret menu could be anything, anything. under the sun. Absolutely anything. So th I think that's the... Uh, that's a mystery of it. That that's a fun part where you could get anything actually. So ah, discovery. All right, that's good. So wait, uh, next, what's the mask policy now in spirals? So uh, of course, uh, sorry, I'll I'll show the photo. What's the mask policy in spiral? Uh, so you can remove it when you're eating. Uh, Correct. Or what's the policy? So to enter the restaurant, to enter the hotel, you need to have your to wear your mask and your face shield. Uh, then once you are in the restaurant and you sit down, 
we are asking the guests to wear their mask when they go around the buffet. Not the, not the face shield, just the mask. Uh, the service team is wearing a face shield and the chef team as well is wearing a face shield. Uh, and when you are sitting at your table, you don't need to wear the mask or the face shield. So it's really difficult to, to eat with a mask. So the mask can go in the mask folder as the picture that you just show. Uh, and the so mask folder is from Spiral, correct? Yeah, we are providing this on the setup on the table, which is like a one-time use. And actually we're using it sometimes to surprise the guests with some small notes and the name on the folder, on the mask folder. You can take nice. it home. And uh, and then you can put your mask in there. And then as soon as you go around the buffet, you have to put back your mask. All right. That's good. So, of course, uh, face mask. We'll go through the rest of the photos. Face mask is required, of course, uh, all the time, no? All yeah, around. Yeah, we walk around, yeah. And then what is this? Uh, so you have uh, floor cues, no? Correct. We have sign yet. So we have uh, one of the big changes as well, actually, part of the new normal in Spiral is that it's only one way, meaning one the, way. Entrance, the entrance of the buffet, which is at the reception, that's mm -hmm. the entrance. And then you can do the tour. And when you exit, you have to do the tour again. So because uh, Spiral, uh, actually, I mean, the, the pass is quite large, but there is a lot of people at the buffet. So to avoid people to really crossing paths all the time and to touch each mm -hmm. other and bump on each other, it's one way. So you enter and you have one entry and two exits at the at the end of the buffet so one exit at the Jap two exit actually next to each uh, japanese section so um so you enter near the filipino section but the, the, it wraps around on the other side right so, so the Filip yeah, you enter at the asian section you can do the tour of the asian section and then you okay. go through the main buffet the churrasco the yeah. central market now and then you exit at the japanese or at the tepan section which is behind but once and you are the Japanese or the Tepan, you cannot go back. You cannot go back. And that's where the cheese section is also. Correct. Correct. I'm impressed to memorize the layout of Spiral. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about dessert? Do you have to do the same route for dessert? No. Dessert, uh, dessert you have some signage as well at the front. The dessert is a bit more complicated because we can come from both ways. It's both in way. the center. And it's yeah. in the center. So there is a route on the floor to, indicate, to, to avoid people uh, crossing paths. Uh, and then you have the picture that you just show is the um, the footsteps. the footstep. So this is just to try to keep the distancing between people because the problem is like as soon as you know people arrive, everybody got really hungry really quick, and then everybody wants to go to the buffet. So the yeah. the steps uh, help to keep a minimum distancing when people are queuing. So it doesn't okay. mean you have to put your foot on the step. It just means it, it's a it's a guideline basically on where you can stand to try to avoid too much traffic in the area. Okay, now next um, is the uh, is this a new system or yeah uh, yes Bettina that's for all you all right that, that's from the central market and actually for the all the stages because we we prepare our, our plate your dish a minute right so some things will take longer than the others so we have coins uh, for the guests to claim their food so the chefs uh, if you need to uh, have a wait for your food we'll issue you a coin with a number or their number which the mm -hmm. guests can take with them. So they can go to the table first or take other food. And then after the time has uh, elapsed, they can come back to that station to have that coin. So this just to make it easier and avoid us like giving the wrong order to the wrong guests or sending the wrong food to someone else. So it's just to make it more systematic uh, because the guests have to come back. And since it's one way, we don't want people really milling around in yeah. the sections and causing a bottleneck there. So they have the, you know, freedom to go around first and have that point to claim their food. Okay, all right, and then that's good. Uh, and of course, this is the. By the way, what uh, do you still serve foie gras or what's the? Yes, yes, we still do. We still do. So like, like what I I wanted to share and like I really, it's important for everyone to know. We didn't remove anything from yeah. Spiral. All the things that made Spiral what it was is still there. And in fact, I, I can hazard to say even better. So like we were saying, uh, when we say we reduced the quantity, it's not that we took out things. So mm -hmm. just to... The quantity, not the variety. Yeah, not the variety. So for example, like uh, I always uh, try to explain this, where, whereas before probably one station will have 15 dishes, but like six of those are filler dishes, dishes mm -hmm. that never really move. So yeah. like for now, 
uh, what we have is like, let's say three dishes, but they're composed dishes. For example, for the French tube, it's a braised short rib with creamy polenta and glazed asparagus. It's like if it's that was on the one. buffet last time, that's already three dishes and yeah. probably not people. Uh -huh. People will not really take those off. So it's a it's a more composed. Uh, composed and structured menu. Not to say less food, but it's more uh, structured and thought out. It's thought out for the guests. Okay. All right. Um, so we'll go through the rest. So these are the what you were saying one way, no? Yeah. yeah. It be one way. Uh, and then uh, this Chinese is uh, Chinese. Yeah. yeah, so the favorite laksa is still there. Many yeah. people have been asking us, really? well, did the laksa disappear? No, <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah, they thought they, okay, that's good. That's good to know. Um, And then what's this? Uh, okay, so that's a table set up. Okay. I think what they're showing there is like the seating. You so, have yeah, so the seating because on the New Guard line, we are not allowed to sit um, next to each other, right? O except uh, if you have a big seat. Yeah. So what oh, we did, because firewall, we have a very large capacity. So that was actually not a big issue for us, luckily. So <laughs> the table which used to be for four before is now for two, basically. So you sit, you don't sit across each other. You sit like diagonal from each other. Okay. So, uh, to provide the minimum distancing uh, between people. And as well, maybe the main difference with before in terms of the table setup is that in the past, you used to have the setup already on the table when you arrive. And now everything is set up in front of you. So everything is sanitized on the section. And then as soon as you sit down, the waiter is gonna bring everything at the table in front of you. So you make sure it was not touched by anyone else. Uh, yeah, before. yeah, that's nice, yeah. That's, uh, that's that's really good. Okay, so going back, uh, we'll finish the photos first, uh, and then we'll have some questions. So, so these are the gear. So this is uh, how the, the that's one of my service attendants. Yeah. So the mask, the face shield. Uh, you don't see it on the picture, but they have uh, each of them have a sanitizer on their belt, and uh, uh -huh. they have a small uh, wiping clothes as well on their belt. Uh, so this is yeah, this is their uniform. Okay, how's the bar situation, by the way? What's the, the bar situation? Uh, La Veranda, which is our main bar, um, mm -hmm. is open. Uh, so we have a trolley, actually, a very famous gin trolley now uh, mm -hmm. that is passing around Spiral. So uh, actually, we bring the bar to you to okay. avoid you going to the bar. Is so, there a limit? Is there a limit no, in no. Manila? No, in Pasay, no, no actually. Uh, Pasay, sorry. Your Pasay, correct. Your Pasay. Um, okay, let's finish this. Uh, so this is the main entrance. Uh, That's the reception. Course. You have the plexi as well over there to avoid the uh, close contact with the receptionist. So mm -hmm. and sanitizer then, at the entrance. And then this is for the girls. The this is the part. receptionist. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then, of course, the chef. So how's the culinary team now in um, spirals what happened uh, during the lockdown was there an entire change of things? no no actually i'm the only new addition uh ah, so ah, everything ah. remained the same i'm the only addition so uh still that's why rest assured for all the spiral regulars that the food is still and will be better okay now question uh i know uh i've seen spiral all men uh in the kitchen and now it's run by two women um, in Sofitel. Uh, can you tell us, you know, was that intentional also? And was how's it working with, uh, you know, all men and with the, you know, Lea. first executive chef in a five-star hotel, correct? In Manila? Um, yes. How's it so far? Yeah. I mean, I guess like I'll, I'll, Anne Sophie will explain her side also later, but I, I suppose. For, uh, I can say for both of us to be able to be in this industry very similar no you have to be or have a tough personality if you first if you don't have a tough personality you're not gonna it, it's not something that anyone can do easily uh not only to say that it's a male dominated not only that even just the nature of the work is really already tough we're okay? not even talking about gender so i think even for males it's already a tough environment uh, so I think that's uh, what it is. 
with it being intentional, I'm not so sure. I think they weren't looking for girls. They were looking for good people. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think it's fair to say that you're looking for the right person, whether that person is uh, female or male. You're just looking for the right fit. Now, I think what was lucky is because Anne-Sophie and I get along so well. Uh, our synergy and our energy is so synced together. And also because I arrived during the lockdown and we live next door. So <laughs> literally we have like one, we share a yeah, wall. So we, like, we wall. cannot be closer than that. So, so I mean, I think it was good that, uh, I mean, regardless or despite the situation, you know, that I came at the time, it gave us the chance to bond and really think and work on projects together, focus on that. Uh, without any distractions. And that made our real working relationship really, really good. So I think it's important that um, the synergy between the executive chef and the F&B uh, is tight because then I think all things are possible. I think <laughs> so <makes> often, <laughs> actually, it's too, because it, actually F&B Culinary is one team, but it happens so often that usually F&B director and executive chef have trouble to get along, uh, which make the really the spirit of the team... Because, I mean, if, if we do not get along together, our team will not get along. It's simple as yeah. that. So if they don't, <laughs> don't like each other, then they will take There's advantage of it. Yeah. And then during the service, you know, every small problem can become a very big problem really quickly. Uh, and I think that the fact that Bettina and I get so well along is uh, is definitely bringing the team together, like F service and culinary together, because... Uh, they know that, you know, it doesn't matter you know, whatever argument they will have among themselves or we will have, you know, together. Then at the end, it's like we will, you know, go through it together and then... And then like, I think it just makes the days more fun because we well. have long days. We have very long days. <laughs> so just getting along it's, together. it's more difficult to fight than to get along. It's more <laughs> difficult actually to get along than to yeah, fight. So it, it makes the days easier. <laughs> But okay. about the question, if it was intentional, our GM, who hired both of us, is not here anymore. He's, uh, he has moved to India during the lockdown, actually. But I can tell that it was not intentional. Uh, when I was hired, I was actually, as much as it's rare for executive chef to be female, F&B director as well, it's really rare. Exactly. Usually it's more, you know, when I did compete to get the position here, I think the people I was competing with were Same. men of, you know, yeah. 40 years old and above. Same. And I'm not 30 years old yet, you know, so it was like a real like choice out of the box. And I think uh, Punit, who was our GM by the time, decided to make a bold move, I guess, by hiring me first because it was not really expected. And uh, so Fitel Manila, it's a, it's a very old property and it's not easy to manage every day, actually. Uh, so I think he wanted to bring a new spirit to the team, try to bring a Have bit a of, you know, fresh blood, fresh air, yeah, yeah, fresh hair, fresh blood. Uh, I guess that's why he picked me first. And then I think when we moved to Bettina, it was the same. The idea was really to try to refresh the team, the culinary team, try to bring some fresh ID, new creativity. And uh, it appears that Bettina was a female. So I, it, was, it was not uh, picked because we were yeah. both female. I think it just happened to be a coincidence that, you know, uh, our GM made those two choices. But luckily, we get very well along. So it was a really good choice, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, really good, actually. <laughs> I think it's really good. Uh, shout out to Puneet, our uh, yeah. GM. Thank you so much. It's uh, rare. Even for other properties, it's really rare. I think we don't have any property in Asia Pacific when you have FNB director and executive chef female mm -hmm. together. I know that the, the company has been pushing already for a few years to try to you know, put, put more, women. more women into this type of position, but even as general manager, but it's, it's still very rare. So I think we're trying to show the example here. Yes, uh, congratulations. Thank um, you. We, Thank you. we have comment from Van. Okay, let's, uh, I'll read it. Everyone is trying to adapt to the pandemic situation. Embracing change could go a long way. Optimism is needed these days. Thank you, Spiral, for opening your doors again. Trying your best to make customers nice. happy and abide to your health and safety protocols. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, and of course, there are people who don't still believe of going out, etc. But at least you know you're doing your best also on um, on making I it think, every, uh, everything safe. No. For, yeah, I think for, I think that's why it's important that we uh, implement the stringent procedure. It's to make everyone feel secure. That when you come to the property, you know that uh, social distancing, all the guidelines are being observed. Then you feel safe to come here and dine with us. So that's, I think, uh, more than just, you know, uh, sticking to the rule for the sake of sticking to the rule. 
it's just to make everyone feel safe also and to safeguard that you know we, we're controlling whatever in our power to make sure that you know uh we're not transmitting or uh, avoiding that possibility of transmission okay now uh, let's go to the practical details. Um, what's the operating hours and what was the pricing strategy going into the, you know, this uh, reopening? Uh, operating hours, lunch is from 12 to 2.30, uh, like it used to be in the past. Uh, dinner is from 5.30 to 9. So dinner has changed because of the curfew that we were having in Pasai, mm -hmm. which is up to 10 p.m. still now. So until 9 p.m. and then people have the time to, you know, obviously finish their dinner and leave the table. Uh, and then brunch from 12 to 2.30 on Sunday. Um, in terms of pricing, we actually kept the same pricing than before the lockdown. So we haven't changed the pricing. So lunch is 2,850 uh, net and dinner is 3,500 net. Brunch is 4,350 net, including free flow champagne. Uh, the reason why we didn't change the pricing is because we feel uh, that the service is there as it used to be. I think for me, actually, we work really hard as well on trying to make the, fee the guests mm -hmm. feel safe, but to provide even a better quality of service than we used to. Uh, because I think it was very important for me that, you know, people who come here, you don't just come because you want to, you know, go out and have a dining experience. People who come in Spiral, usually they come to celebrate something. Uh, birthday, anniversary, a special occasion. Proposal. Proposal. <laughs> we have a lot of proposal those days. So people come to celebrate, and I think the the food, Bettina, has been changing a lot of things, you know, and making a lot of improvement on the buffet. But service is really as important as the food because you want to have a nice experience. You don't want to be, you know, bothered by small details. You want your waiter to be flawless, moving around, you know. You, and, and I think uh, we work really hard before the reopening, you know, on doing a lot of training uh, with the guys and to make sure that, you know, despite wearing a mask and a face shield, um, you provide the same service than before, even a better one, because you need to make sure your guests feel safe. You know, it's uh, sometimes a bit more difficult to interact with the guests because some people are afraid to, you know, talk or some because you have the mask. It's difficult to hear, you know. But the, the team has really been trying really hard to, you know, provide this special experience and make sure that people don't get disappointed. Uh, it's not because we apply the new protocol that the service and the experience is different. For me, it has to be even better. So in okay. terms of, of service and food, we haven't we only improve what we used to have, which is why we decided to actually keep the same pricing. Okay. Um so uh, you're only operational on weekends, correct? Or uh, every Thursday, day? we open Thursday dinner uh, until Sunday brunch. Ah so we okay. are close, we are close Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday lunch. Okay. Now, uh, next question. Uh, I know uh, Filipinos are big on celebration. Do you have a cap on how many people uh, can book uh, from a one reservation, or Actually, you don't no. have no limit? No, we don't. We don't have limit. We still have our private room, which are available. So now, uh, each private room is at fifty percent capacity compared to before. So the maximum we can sit in the private room is six person. It used to be twelve. Uh, we can still do long table in the restaurant according to each station. Uh, obviously, table of 20 is not possible anymore because unfortunately the layout does not allow us to do one big table of, of 20. But we can do, uh, we, we do definitely small group. Uh, I think the biggest table we have had so far was 12 packs. So we can do that. Uh, it's just, it depends on the booking and everything. So usually we try to work out the layout uh, based on the request, but we, we, dis we do still accommodate group at the moment. All right. Uh, next question. Um, you know, a lot of consideration is on the airflow. And although you have high ceiling, do you have options for outdoor seating for Spiral? Yeah, we have La Veranda, which is outside of the bar, actually. So we have uh, four tables there, and then we have two large sofas as well. So we do have outside seating uh, available, like for both uh, lunch and dinner. And uh, and so so far actually we haven't had people who requested to sit outside because I think it has been raining as well. So unfortunately it's not uh, because those areas are not are not covered. So when it's raining it cannot be used. Uh, but yes we do have limited outside sitting. Yeah, and uh, you know 5:30 p.m. is a nice sunset spot. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> people can still walk around. Actually we allow people to go outside. Spiral you can walk on 
on the Bay Area, so chill and everything. So uh, like if, if you come, you can still do the walk outside in the garden, which is nice to see the sunset, as you mentioned. Wow, that's nice. Um, so, but uh, only the spiral is open. Uh, what's yeah. the latest? Uh, what's the update on the other outlets and the hotel itself? Um, for, for now, only spiral. Um, the hotel is not open for staycation at the moment. Uh, so that's something we're looking at, but we haven't made uh, any decision yet. So I think everybody uh, we're still waiting. So hopefully in the coming weeks or months. Uh, and only Spiral is open at the moment, yeah, because Spiral is our main outlet, flagship, yeah, it's and uh, flagship it's the outlet. flagship. That's that's what people are looking for when they come to Sofitel. So the plan is that step by step we're gonna reopen uh, more days Spiral, and then after this, I think most likely we're gonna try to open the other outlet one at a time. Um, Hopefully the next one should be Sunset Bar because it's outside, so you, you know, you have fresh air. People like the view as well. Uh, but we haven't made any decision yet on the timeline or anything. So for now, it's just only Spiral uh, open to uh, public. How about uh, Les Spa? Is it open? No, no, only really only Spiral. It's really the only uh, the only place open so, right yeah. now. There is no the spa is not open. The swimming salon pool, the yeah. Philip Torchman, the Salon Vitura, uh, so far, so far only Spiral. Okay, so, that's good. And so far, what's the feedback so far from guests? I think the feedback has been very good. Actually, to, today is the third weekend. Yeah. Uh, yesterday night and today lunch have been the best lunch and dinner we have done since we opened in three weeks. So I think the number are like slowly improving, improving and increasing. I think um, the feedback so far has been has been really good. I think people appreciate the time and the effort we put into really you know like coming up with the the guideline all safe which is our accord uh, you know uh, program standard, yeah. standard now for covid to prevent and all the measures so we have our own guideline from accord plus the guideline from you know dot and everything linked to the government so we try to do a mix of all of that and i think that people really appreciate so far at least the feedback has been really like positive towards you know service the flow culinary as well i think people really appreciate the way the way the the setup is the buffet is set up now the new the new item on the menu the central market yeah i think has well, been i think uh once they come and see for themselves right all their worries will be gone yeah so they will understand <laughs> so I, I think really it's just a a matter of trying to comply uh with the new normal uh make that change also inevitably we, we all need to address that but yeah, I mean, spiral is still the spiral that you remember, perhaps even better. All right. We have a comment from Elvira. So nice to see you back, Chef oh, Bettina. Nice. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's wrap up. Um, just a few more questions. Um, what's, is there an age limit? Because before it's a family gathering, is there a senior citizen allowed or are the kids allowed? Are there limits in age? So as of now, uh, we were not uh, we are not allowing kids under 21 and above uh, and a senior 60. citizen above 60. But the new guideline have just come out, and actually we were just talking about it before coming here now. Most likely we're gonna change this to under 15 and above 65. Uh, so that should be applicable starting tomorrow, uh, because we have been receiving a lot of requests actually, and as you know, Spiral is doing mostly a lot of celebration, family, family. gathering. So uh, we know that people have been asking and waiting, but unfortunately, we, we're really trying to stick to the government and the guideline. So we were waiting all this time to have uh, something official. Uh, and then uh, most likely then from tomorrow, we're going to allow uh, from 15 to 65. That's good. That's great. And um, for intimate weddings, do you accept intimate weddings? Uh, as of yeah. now... Not yet. We have done. We, we do have ceremony outside yeah. on the Seawall Garden, uh, uh, around ten people and less. Yeah. This has been done. Uh, but however, no banqueting or event. So like just the ceremony mm -hmm. on its own. Yeah, definitely dinner in Spiral as inspire. well, but not not a banqueting event. Okay. Now, of course, we have a question from Van. Uh, our Accor members have discounts. Do you provide discounts the, still? The discount, yeah, Accor Plus, which is our Accor program. Mm -hmm. Accor Plus, has the, since the day we reopened, the discount for Accor Plus have been the same as we used to have before. So this doesn't change, doesn't remain the same. 
All right, that's good. Um, I think uh, we're all excited to go back to Spiral um, when it's ready. We have kids, so we usually go yeah. there with kids but, uh, since uh, 15 years old. But uh, I guess this is time for uh, romantic dates with your special <laughs> Exactly. That's why we have so many proposals, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's wrap this up. Uh, it has been a fun discussion. Any final thoughts? If you can talk to the guests, um, to potential guests, uh, what can you say to them? But before you say that, we have another comment. And Cruz said, winning panda. Indeed, actually, I'm really surprised that, uh, you know, two females share. And I think it's really good, you know, uh, for this post-pandemic uh, situation. Wow. I think the team is very happy as well. Yeah. I mean, our team, uh, yeah. because I, I, both of our, our number two are male, and most of our team members, a lot of male as well, uh, most yeah, of the managers. <laughs> so uh, even them, they are excited. So I think so far has been really good. Okay, so if you can talk to people considering to do Spiral, uh, what can you say to them? Uh, of course, please. Uh, so unfortunately for the pandemic and the lockdown, right, we've been closed for six months. And I can't even begin to express how excited we are to be able to open our doors and welcome you back. So uh, even with the age restrictions, every day we're tuning on to the news to see if that restriction has been lifted because, again, a spiral, I think, is all about creating memories, family celebrations. And what are the celebrations without the lolo and the lola or the apos, right? So I think that's uh, very important. Uh, let's assure that we are working very hard to keep you safe, to provide you with a spiral that you knew when you loved, uh, make it even better day by day. And uh, we are just thankful that uh, we have reopened our doors. So please, to all our regular guests before and those who are curious to try, Please do come by. We'll be waiting for you downstairs, ready to serve you and um, welcome you back. All right. And we'll end with this uh, comment from Van. Great job, Spiral. We're so happy <laughs> and excited to be there again. God bless and stay safe and healthy. Yes, uh, congratulations you. again. The first female chef in a <laughs> five-star hotel. Yeah, uh you know uh the tandem of um and sophie or called as uh and chef Dina, thank you so much thank you to sofitel and for those of you watching um in the replay where can they book by the way can they book all the way to a uh, new year already or yes, is we there can. yes we can book all the way to new year's already Wow, and they book via uh, calling. Uh, Sofitel phone number or then the email address uh, of Sofitel FB12. All right. Thank you so much. So Thank nice. You. Thank you. Wait, can I have uh, one photo of you? Uh, just sure. All right. One, two, three. All right. Th um, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Um, wait. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. And uh, thank you for agreeing to this discussion. Welcome. And, uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be really happy uh, because uh, we're getting into the verse, verse season and the pandemic is still here. <laughs> and yeah. we really wanted to make sure to go to places that have high standards of safety. And, uh, and of course, Spiral is one of those places. And thank you so much for opening your doors. Thank you. Salamat. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>